Welcome back, my chrysalis, to some more discourse. Alright, so in the last episode, we found a cat, and we slept in a cave all day, and didn't do anything to progress and to save our lives. So hopefully today we'll do something to save our lives. Okay, looks like we served, survived another night. I think I read that the last time. Things are looking up! Not really, at all, Rita, what are you talking about? Barely, my stomach feels like it's gonna implode. Quit your complaining today, this isn't exactly a picnic for any of us. Harumph. Complaining won't make this better. <laughs> I know, I know. Let up a little. I'm running on fumes here. Sounds like the storm has finally ended. Well, at least there's a bit of good news. Kai seems happy enough. Maybe things are going to be okay. If we don't need soon, we're going to have to real. Pro we're going to have a real problem. Our goal today has to be, has got to be to find something neat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So who's going to go out searching? I feel way too weak after going so long without food. Well, uh, I think I could probably manage. Really? You sure? Yeah, yeah, just leave it to me. I'll come with you, Gary. Oh no, they're conspiring against us. Teddy was right, they're gonna kill us and drug us and stuff. Those two seem just a bit too energetic. Oh well, I shouldn't complain about them volunteering to go out. I still feel pretty weak. I guess I'll just hang out here until they can return. Seriously? Wait, what is happening? I wanna do something. Hey, I'm back. Ugh, I fell asleep. I feel so weak, it needs to eat something. Wait, where's Garrett? Garrett's gone, I'm afraid. What the heck does that mean? We were foraging in these bushes. We found some edible nuts. Enough for all of us. Then a jaguar just came out of nowhere. I barely got away. Holy crap, Garrett is dead? Garrett wasn't so lucky. I'm glad that jaguar didn't try to follow me. Uh, I think you- Whoa, holy crap. I can't believe this. I thought I'd lost it. Oh, the cat's good, I guess. Garrett is dead? Yo, that's a cool jaguar looking thing though. I mean, the art, I mean. We need to make a distraction quick. Oh gosh, Julian flash camera to use your metal detector wave frying pan. Flash camera. Here, kitty. Oh god, is Julian gonna die? Everybody run. Is Julian just dead? Holy crap. What about Julian? What do I do? Someone help. Flee the cave. Freaking, I don't know, man. Someone help. I don't know what I'm going to do, but maybe I can smack it with a pan. I don't know, man. I'll save you, Jolene. I probably got them both killed. Holy crap. Yo, he's got he's got his weapon. George! No! We have to get out of here. Oh, crap, he's dead. Oh, man. George died. I can't believe that Jaguar killed George. Freaking, get the heck out of here. The Jaguar's right there. So much for that cave. It's obviously not a safe place. Let's head back to our original camp and regroup there. Good thinking, let's go. Yeah, quickly, the Jaguar is probably still behind you. These guys are crazy. I keep forgetting. Man, I can't believe Garrett died off camera. George died trying to save his wife. They're married, right? Yikes, our camp is in terrible shape after that storm. This isn't going very good at all. It's a good thing we left in the cave when we did, otherwise we'd all be toast. So, you know, this game has a lot of different storylines and paths, and there's a lot of decision-making things that I gotta do. We're lucky to be standing here right now. But, like, man, I, I, I feel like I'm picking the worst things ever or something. We sell these nuts that Steve and Garrett found. Everybody should eat some while we have a chance. Ah, <sighs> man. This food is a godsend. You're telling me. It's not home cooking, but it's gonna hit the spot. Yeah. This is pretty much home cooking for me. My cooking skills aren't spectacular. Oh, Steve, I could whip up, I could whip up something that... That's nice, really. Steve needs to be stopped being a jerk. We've been on this island for five days now. We have to do something. Let's just enjoy our food for now. I don't think that would be too difficult. We can deal with this tomorrow. There's no reason to ruin the moment. We should start getting ready for bed. Normally I'd grab a torch from the fire, but I guess we're going to bed by the moonlight tonight. Man, I'm man, I'm tired. I shouldn't stay up too long. What the heck, dude? The old disky's still around. I can't interact with him at all, but he's there. This is going really poorly, you guys. I don't know if we're even gonna survive. No, no supplies. Two dead. What's this? Sure, you could use my mattress back home right about now. Let me stay awake for a little bit. This is going very bad. I think I'm gonna get the worst end or something. 
I'm gonna talk to Jolene because she just lost George. I'll hey, Jolene. I miss my George so much. I can't imagine I'll losing somebody that I've had right next to me for the most of my life. I'll that has to be so painful. I've, I've never felt more pain in my life. Just remember, you always have me to lean on. It's good to have you around now that George is gone. Well, I only wish I could do more. He was a good man. Yes, yes he was. Well, I need to get some rest. Alright, good night, Jolene. I'm so sorry. I killed your husband, basically. Uh-huh. Man, if I, if I, I bet if I threw my frying pan, it probably wouldn't have worked and everyone would die. Alright, what's up, Teddy? So what do you think the odds of us getting found are? Why are you asking this guy? Odds? Odds? That's such a ridiculous question to ask, Rita. We don't know if this is an alien or a government operation. What does that have to do with? That has everything to do with everything. Calculating the odds without that information is just ludicrous. That looks like trying to bake cookies without having artichokes. Wait, you make cookies with... Nope, you know what? I don't want to know. You know, this little beach has kind of grown on me. Heh, I think it's better than the studio that I was living in back home. What? Surely you had better digs than this. Nope, I had no reason to. I have no wife or kids. I really don't need much space. Why don't you have a family? Do you have a girlfriend? Home life isn't for everyone. Home life isn't for everyone as in, like, having a family kind of home life. I guess that's what she means. Settling down, yeah, there you go. Settling down with a family isn't for everyone. I can't really blame you. Yeah, I don't know that was... Yeah, I don't know that I was... What? I don't know that I was meant to live with a family life. I don't know. I'm obviously reading that wrong. Well, as long as you're happy, I suppose. Yeah, as long as I'm happy. I'm really tired. I should get some sleep. Nope, here you go. <sighs> can I sleep next to her so I can comfort her, sort of, at least? I guess not. Sure, she could use a mattress right now. I don't care how uncomfortable the ground is, I'm ready to collapse. Why am I sleeping so close to Steve? I don't like him. He's a jerk, has a bloody knife in his pocket, and smokes a cigarette continuously. How did we... I guess we just already woke up. I think this island is trying to kill us. Well, that's for sure, and I'm kind of not... I'm not very optimistic that I'm gonna live through this, to be honest. Pretty quick here. Disky is going, uh, going to be the only one alive. Okay, we're all goners if we don't figure something out. Calling all extraterrestrial beings, we submit. Take us to your leader. We need to try to come up with a way to get off this island. What do you suggest then, Rita? Maybe we just need to accept we might never get rescued. I refuse to believe that we're stuck here. We're gonna find a way off this island. I'm assuming you're planning to contact the aliens? Come on, Teddy. That's not the idea, Teddy. Then what is it? Think, Rita, think! Wait a second. What about the far side of the island? The offshore light? The mountain? <clears throat> the offshore light is sort of a thing that maybe we should work towards. Because it's, it's at least a thing, you know? It's something, and it's a light. The far side of the island seems like a, a kind of a good thing too to me. I don't know about the mountain at all. Uh, what's the advantage of not being on a mountain? I mean, I guess the possibility of finding more food or something. Maybe a cool piece of shelter. But I don't know. I don't know, man. We lost our flares. We have nothing. We literally have nothing. Let's just go to the far side of the island. We've explored so little. We don't know what we'll find on the other side. Sure, or we could just get lost in the jungle. We should do this. Good point. Ah, Steve! You're not help at all. You're the worst person. This guy sucks, man. Good point. Let's, let me reconsider. What about... We walk across the island. The offshore light? What about that light we saw in the water? We could make a raft or something try to get out of it. We have no idea what that is. It could just be a shiny rock or something. That doesn't sound like a thing. Let me see what they say about the mountain. What about the mountain? What about climbing the mountain off in the distance? Maybe we can get a better vantage point from up there and signal for rescue. Climbing a mountain, wouldn't that be really dangerous? Um... I don't know what the heck to do, dude. I am so, I'm so increasingly at a loss right now. 
Dude, I don't know. Screw it. Let's do the raft thing. Let's do the raft. We build a raft. I really think we should try the building raft. At this point, I guess I'm afraid. I'm game to give it a try. Alright, I suppose it's worth an attempt. It's settled in. We need to make a raft and find a way out to that light. Pan into the cat. That cat hasn't gotten in much camera time, but... Well, it hasn't done anything. I'm hoping the cat might do something cool. This beach looks like look as good a, a place as any to build the raft. Alright. Maybe some of this wood and debris could be of use. Some of us will need to stay here and work on the raft. The others should search for supplies that may be useful to use on that raft. I'd like to stay behind and work on that raft. Who wants to search for supplies? You seem to know what's going on. Why don't you just pick who does that? Uh, okay then. I'll come around now and give you each a job. Well, uh, I guess, I guess I'm just, I've just been the leader. I mean, I know it makes sense because I'm the main character, but it doesn't make sense in like a storytelling kind of way because no one said that. They're just kind of doing it. But uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll be, I'll dish out some jobs in the next episode. My name is Crystal Face. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.